All right, Chris with Wannabe Honey Farms. Um, I'm really excited today. I got my mentor, Brittany, here with me today. She is going to tell me what a screw-up I am, how stupid I am, and uh, what we need to do to fix this uh, circus that I've got going. These two, I'm thinking we have egg lay or drone laying queens. This one over here is doing good, last I checked. Um, I want to requeen all three. Um, so with that being said, and before you start sending hate comments, if I find swarm cells, they're out of here. If I find queen cups or queen cells, they're out of here. And so don't send me comments telling me to quit killing queens. I want to requeen with a different breed. There's not very many bees. No. That's really, and they all look older. So I'm wondering, if, well, it's interesting. What are your thoughts? Um, I would expect in my hives when I'm looking, usually this is completely covered on the top with uh -huh. baby bees, new bees. Um, so the population seems seems low based on the fact that there's not very many on the top of these. But I also see a lot of honey up here, so it's possible they're in the other brood box. Um, let's take a, like that's almost yeah, that's a solid frame of honey right there. It's beautiful. Yeah. Looks good. The first year bees, this is actually a pretty good uh, comb build out. Like, that's a lot of honey. Well, th I've been using this as a brood box. Yeah. This They're medium. using it as a honey box. <laughs> so. Okay. Be back in just a moment. <clears throat> Have you seen any eggs in this one? Yes. some brood here. Can I take it? You may. Oh yeah, I see eggs in there. Let's see eggs. Let's see that. I don't see any eggs in here. Okay. I didn't see any eggs. There's eggs in this one. Okay. But there's no, literally no bees on them. Yeah, I see the eggs you're talking about. And I also see what you're talking about as being spotty. Like it's in the, like there's no, which is okay, but there's very few, it's just weird. Okay. Um, Let's see. And based upon those eggs, you would agree that they are laid by a queen, right?
trying to find the green black beauty. So like this, I wouldn't worry. Like that's probably a start of a queen cut, but it could also be because the drone brood is at the bottom. Okay. So like sometimes when I see stuff like that, I'm like, that could be for a drone um, and it's just wonky, but, or it could be, I mean, it could also be a queen cut, but I'm not as worried when you see it in a huge chunk of Okay, but I see no queen. You want this one? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. So look, I just had was looking at the one. Yeah. The other thing is, is all of these bees are like adult bees. Uh huh. See any baby bees? Like younger. So on that one frame that you had, that is all I see uh, was those spotty eggs. I don't see anything in here or the one that you're holding. This one, it looks like they started filling pollen in, in it. Uh-huh. Like I see blackberry pollen in that and then it got really cloudy all of a sudden, so I'm like, I'm going to get the Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there uh, definitely is something going on. Did you want to look at this one? Sure. Okay, this looks this looks like a solid honey frame. Solid honey? Yeah. I would move that one um, to the side then for now. Like, uh, like I would move it to the outside if it's all honey because well, that could be binding the queen. She might not be able to get to the um, queen. I don't know if that's going to be necessary because this one on one side looks like solid honey also. See how loud they're getting? They're getting really unhappy. Do you see solid honey on the other side of this? Yeah, so, so I'll... she would not walk over these frames though. So it's possible, depending on what's going on down there, she might not be able to get to those other frames because there's too much honey. Okay. Um, like she could be honey bound because of that. Like it, it's been like this the whole time. Would you suggest that I pull a couple of these honey frames and put some bear frame in there? Yeah, or we might just rotate them around depending on what we're doing the bottom box. Okay, well, the bottom box is deep. So or these are mediums. Oh, oh yeah, I see that. Okay. Um, yeah, or we could rotate them out with one of these. Bear frames on these. So move all the frames, the big honey frames. But I think we should wait and see what's going on below and then go from there. Actually, these seem pretty calm. I mean, like, they're not happy, but they seem like they Yeah, they're not buzzing my face. Yeah. This one will be pretty heavy if you lift it. Yeah.
This yeah. is what you're talking about as yeah, far as... Yeah, like there's just not a lot of... Even this is not a, a ton, but it's better. Um, but I do feel like that's the... Oh, well, there's a lot of honey right here, I can see. Okay. So based on what I'm seeing right now, I definitely would root and clean this hive. Just because, well one, they don't they don't really have a lot of space though to lay. Like in that upper box, there's almost no it's all some of it looked like it was getting back filled with pollen in, back filled with honey. Um Okay no. Oh okay, yeah, that's all drone. Yep. Uh-huh. That's a problem. And that's all there is. Juice, okay. There's no makes That's gotta be a lane worker. I don't see how you can have to make some stuff. There's no there's no baby beast, so it hasn't been a queen for a while. Like, I don't see any regular food. Oh, no, there's eggs over here. Okay, so... Here. Worker eggs or queen eggs? Well, they're different larva states with no eggs. Okay. I don't see, like, zero eggs. I got no eggs here. Go ahead and hang that. So this is the same thing. I don't see any eggs. I I honestly think it might be a link. Like I don't see any signs of eggs necessarily. Like the sporadic laying could also be an indicator of of a queen worker. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent. That, but it might be worth looking into because honestly, I don't see any, don't see any eggs in here. Okay, this is no eggs, it's a lot of pollen. But you got no, so usually, what's the cycle? It's like the younger bees, once they hit like mid age, they can become nurse bees, and then late age, they become foragers, right? Uh huh. And I'm just not seeing any nurse bees or baby bees. Like these all look like mature. Do you want me to put this one down here as well? Uh, yeah. Oh wow, that's beautiful, huh? Pollen. Oh, it's wonderful pollen, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't think they... I don't know if I would confidently say if they have a queen, which is probably why they've been doing a lot of cells, because they probably are trying to make a queen. But now they probably don't have enough eggs to do it. Like, I'm seeing a lot of drones. Um, well, I'm not seeing any eggs on this. Now, because of the activity and where they're hanging out, it's possible she could be on one of these middle ones. Um, I guess we can check. But, where the honey was situated was right in the middle. And if there's honey, in these middle ones also and they can do a trapper to a few places. Um, yeah, these are very light. <laughs> but like there's 
open swarm cells on the bottom. Oh, that looks like something already came out. Chewed right. through it. Yeah. I wouldn't destroy... It looks like they already tried to make their own queen. And she's already emerged. Two of them. Yeah. Like, this is... Okay, so I could have a queen out there in the wind. Yep, and we still have drones. I, I mean, you can see this hive's kicking them out. This hive's still got a lot of them. Oh, right there, queen. Yeah. Yep. So, with that being said... I don't know if she's your new queen, though. Exactly. So, there's the queen right, right here, just walking around. Yeah. Can you hold this a minute and keep an eye on her? Yep. Got it? Yep. All right. I'm supposed to keep an eye on her. Where did she go? Oh, good job. <laughs> she could be a new queen. She could be the old queen. Hey, where, where is she? Oh, wait, where did she go? Yep. Yeah, right, yep, there. right there. Okay. I don't see her. Oh, it's mine. Oh, seriously? Come on, little lady. Do you have a hive tool? I can like, I can try to pick her up a bit. I just don't want to hurt her. Nope. It's a worker. Here, um, I got it. Oop, she's in there. Oh, don't oh, let her fly oh. out. Sorry. You got her? I don't know. Yeah. Is that her? Yeah. Yep. Yep, you just also got a worker in there. Oh, we got a bee emerging right there, right out of the... Oh man. Well this this doesn't go up high enough to pin her. I see eggs in this side. I I have a strong feeling either she was honey bound or and she doesn't have enough room because there's not a lot of empty space in those. There's a lot of honey and she won't cross the honey. Um so I do see eggs here, but again, the question is, is she your new queen or is she an old queen? Uh, who knows? I don't know. Here, I'm going to release her. Okay. I marked a queen. <laughs> I know, big day. All right, so we've got a queen in there. We know that to be true. Okay. And we got these two bad boys. So, I mean, this might be a situation to wait and see what happens, or you can just. Are you able to still see where she's at? Uh, I lost her. Oh, there she is. Yep, I just want to make sure you can yeah. see her. That white didn't take. Mm -mm. But that's okay. Um, so what I would do is I would remove, I would remove the upper, the, the full frames of honey, move them into one of the mediums, move all the empty ones and the ones that have space into the one that's going to be directly above this. Okay. And then, uh, and then see if that will help give her space. I never would have seen her if you hadn't been here. Well, you might have. I promise you I wouldn't have. So, 
It's literally just practice. It's practice I'm looking for her. Um, but we know she's in here. So she's either failing, she's a new queen, or and then she's still right there. See, so they're trying to yeah. clean her off now. They're trying to do what with her? I don't know, clean her off. They're like, what the heck is on you? Oh. Okay. Um, so do you want me to put her back in? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, as I mentioned before... Like, you do just want to requeen, so you can. You could just... Eliminate... Eliminate her while I got her. That's an option. Um, but we got two chewed swarm cells, so there could be something going... I don't know. It could be... That could be a new queen. I know, this is an interesting uh, scenario. It might be worth waiting and seeing. Okay. Um, what I would do is I would check to see how much space she has on these really quickly. Okay. And then I would just, let's move the honey out into the middle one of this. Like, or, sorry. Move it up into the supers. Move it up into the supers. And then that'll be, and then we can close it up. Okay. And then discuss. Uh, do you have any previous video of the queen and butt was in this hive ever no. like where we like, like you've identified her so it's one thing if you have um yes yeah Um, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, that's all pollen. Yep. Yeah, so she doesn't have room there. Um, this is also a lot of pollen. Okay, these are all drone cells. Yeah, I don't see any eggs in this one. Yeah, I don't see any here either, but... There's also a lot of pollen up at the top. And then, it's, and then in the middle, it's all drone. Okay, drone, but, all right, so you got the drone ones, but then isn't this workers down here? It could be, yeah. Uh, but then that would be how many days old? Like, the capped ones, so... The capped ones, minimum of eight. Um, so I would just reshuffle the... So I'd leave that one in there, that one's got space. We should probably move this one. We'll see what's on the other one. But move this one more to the other side, the outer side. Not fully out. Check out. But we do want pollen on the top parts, honey on the top parts. Yeah, a lot more drone. Cap drone. But I don't see any eggs. Can I take a look? Of course. This one's got a I haven't looked at that other side. A little bit of a sticky situation we got here. Okay, I see like three eggs in here. That was quick. The right kind of spotty. Oh, well. No, I see some. Um, but they're not in the for sure. Um, there are eggs, though. Alright. Okay, so is this... Is this yeah, I think she sucks. I don't know. I'm <laughs> like, I, I, I would still probably reclean her. But she is either a drone layer or... Cause these ones right here are definitely going to be workers. Uh-huh. But the egg's pattern is so spotty that it's literally, I feel like, one. 
every few, three or four frames I see eggs. So you can see them right here. There's like a whole bunch here. And then there's some there. But it's not very... It's not very... It's not looking very good. Okay. And the same... Actually, I do see some on this side. This side is more uniform, but it's in every... They're up in the upper part, so like... I just don't think her egg line was very good. Um, so... Uh, so with that being said, without knowing though if she's a new king, new queen or an old queen, and... Would, I would give her space and then wait a week and see if her eggs are still spotty. And then... And then if they are, you know, she's probably lucky and just squish her. When are you going to get the other queen? Or have you decided? I haven't decided until you looked at them. Like this one I would requeen if it's the old queen. Because she clearly was failing. Right. However, if a new queen came in and they were failing, they are obviously were trying to either replace her. They didn't swarm, even though they were at the bottom. So it seems like they're in an okay position if it is a new queen. She came back, she mated. Um, it's just hard to... It's just hard to say. Okay, now this one... You can see this has got all kinds of nothing. Yep. What's on the other side? New? I, I don't know how it looks like. I kind of got myself tangled here. Okay, so this one definitely has more eggs. And more brood. And it's replaced... Okay. Like, you can definitely see in the middle, there's a lot of eggs in there. Okay. So, it looks like she's doing okay on this frame, but so it, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I think you need to wait. That's what I would do. Is I'd make sure she has enough space. These other ones, which probably are some of them pretty angry now. This is heavy. Yeah, so I would move that one to the outermost one. Uh, uh, actually, the other, the Is outer that one, all honey. The outer one looks pretty honeyed up too. This looks like um, nectar and pollen backfill. Yeah. So. I can't even see into those. Uh, I don't know. Where do you want to frame? Oh, sorry. Well, this one has a lot of space. What I would do is I would move this one facing this way, having it that way direction. Uh huh. Have the honey frame. I wouldn't even pull that one out. Um, okay. So it's like. Sorry, bees. All right, so then. These ones, I would move all back over and then put these two in. So these should be okay. Then these ones, rearrange for all the honey. You could, you could take the honey if you want to do and then uh, harvest it. Okay. I think you have them the full box. I put the one with the most. getting loud. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Hey, my smokers. What's that? Do you have any empty of these? Yeah, I sure do. We could just stick an empty one on and then start moving the ones that are already... Um, an empty one over the brood, this yeah, brood like, box? Yeah, just take an empty one of these and then we can start taking the ones that have nothing on them. And then the ones that have comb built out on them, they don't have a lot of comb on it. Then I would just like she doesn't have she has some room in there, but she doesn't have a lot. And then I would keep two frames of honey in on the side so that they have something to eat. Okay. Um, just in case it gets I don't know bad weather. So should I put an excluder down over that? I would not have an excluder on at this point. Okay. I think you're, you're okay not to have one. It's also if there's frames that are completely not built out. Those are going to need to be able to pull them out. Um, so. Okay, so. We want to, we're looking for. Frames that have not a lot going on. So maybe, this one had a lot of honey, right? So maybe yes. just set this one off to the side for now. Okay. And then let's take a look at this. <coughs> it's like this is a great one because they do have nectar on that side, but this side they haven't done anything and it's already comb built out. Okay. So we'll just stick that one. Okay, so this is about the same thing. It's only on one side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that one's a lot of nectar. Let's put that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's like a... Nectar. Okay, I, I think I've lost sight. So what do we actually looking for just empty empty so okay. empty we could just put a couple of these in there. Really wanted to. Um, give them something to work on it might not be the case that any of these have empty but we should put some some with comb on them in there at least I guess okay so all these are pretty much the same story Okay. Those four. Let's uh take put this one in. It's got all the comb built out. Okay, I think. At least on the top. On one side only. That's okay. Let's okay. Do that. And then we do want to put a full frame of honey in there. Uh, do you have a full frame of cap honey? Um. We'll put it on the side. I'm sure we do over here. No honey. Here. Uh, do you it. have any other of these? Yes, I do. I'm going to get it right now. want to keep the honey in there is one they need food just in case it gets you know whatever bad weather you need to eat but then also it helps insulate the hive too so it helps them do what insulate the hive oh okay um so we'll just do there we go okay this okay here we go okay this is a full frame of almost capped honey. Yeah, it's about 70% on this side and about 80 on this side. And then I would just put that one on this end and then let's fill the middle with mid-level broken out. Like, like this one was your brood box, right? <sighs> no, that, that one. one was. Okay, so this one's just got tons of honey. Is there any in this one that you remember that had brood in it? I don't think any of the upper ones had any brood to speak of.
Now, is that all a honey frame? Mm -mm, there's some middle. Oh, okay. So these ones, I would, I would put this one in because you can see there was brood in there at some point. Uh huh. So that one will be a good contender for the middle. Hopefully, she can come up and as long as they don't backfill it. Then this one also is the same. There was a. that in the middle so what we have is full frame of honey full frame of honey empty this one's completely empty this one has some nectar but some just broken out these ones were from the brood box they have okay. honey on the top hopefully they'll start getting brood in the middle I'm gonna go slow so I don't jostle them too much Okay, so that was another, yeah, so that one's a good one. Put in, make sure she's got lots of space. And then, let's see what this one looks like. Let's do these two, I think, and I'll we'll call it. Call the rest. Good. So either now what you can do is either you can pull the frames of honey. Is that 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So you can either now pull the honey or you can just rearrange one of the couple of the boxes and then stick one more box on the top so they have. Okay, like this is almost all capped honey. Like this one here is 100% capped. Okay. Like that's, I mean, you could pull that. Okay, so let's. And then this one too is a looks. Oh, that is heavy. Yeah. Okay. That's... Almost. That one's needs will probably a little bit. Longer. The other, these two, both of these sides are. Okay. Let's. Uh... So we got we got the second brood layer set up for her. Yep. To lay. Okay. So let's pull this. And I'll get around to harvesting that. Shit. Well, just, uh, this is when I use the bee brush. And what I do is I, um, I walk and then I just brush them off with the bee brush. And okay. Then, and then they, uh, they usually fall in the grass and they don't come back. <laughs> to me. And then it's empty. Okay. So, where do you want me to put this? Uh, excellent question. Um, okay. You just set it down on those bricks right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, let's put one back, box back on top. And then I would not put the queen excluder on. Give them some time to build out more comb. So, either this one or that one it doesn't really... Okay, I am going to look at this frame real quick. Okay, no. Is this... This is also 100% honey. Okay. I mean 100% cap. Okay. 100% raw, unfiltered honey. <laughs> this is not, but there's no, nothing... No, but it's a... a it's, you need it to be 80, 90% capped. Right, but so, what I'm saying is in those frames that aren't capped, there's nothing in them. On this side, on this side, there is nectar on, right there. So okay. what you want to worry about in that case is you don't want it too high a water count. Right. So you could pull that one. It probably would be okay. Well, uh, let's not. Let's. This one, though, 100% capped both sides. So. Okay. You want me to get the brush? I mean, there's only a few. And then the rest of it I would leave for them anyway. Okay. To make it through the winter, they're going to need... Like, I wouldn't take any more. Okay. 
like I'd let them do their thing for the rest of the year and You've just rearranged our entire house, how dare you. Okay, this one had some stuff going on. Oh, this was my... This one's also 100%. Okay, hold on. I think, uh, yeah, because this was my rock star comb. Shit, I don't want to do that. I would pull that into one of them. Yeah. Do you want this um, third one? Yeah, I, I want an even number. So yeah, go ahead, we'll take that one. Okay. We'll... And we'll take this one I'm prying out. Oh, because is it a four? Is it a four or a two? It's a two. It's manual. in here is just there's some capped honey yeah. not a lot you could just stick this back on that's what I was gonna do okay, this one they thought maybe so during the orientation flight seven So hopefully, in about a week, it might even be good to wait two weeks and, not, and just leave them, see how they do. Okay. Um, because... <laughs> you do with these, just sweep them off? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they'll eventually go back. Okay. Okay, so to recap, we found the queen. Eggs are spotty, not looking good, no, almost no brood. Both were chewed out. We don't know if it's the original queen or one of the new queens. Recommendation, let them be for a couple of weeks. Maybe change the whole week and then come back in and see. Has the egg laying situation improved? If not, I would immediately requeen. Okay. Um, it don't look like. it looks like it's got a whole lot of nothing going on in it. So yeah. what's the goal of this one? I was. This one also has just a ton of drone. Okay. So Plan A was to combine these two hives, oh, yeah, yeah. get rid of both that. queens, but that plan is kind of fallen by the wayside. So I don't think this one has an. I think we can just bypass. What, huh? Yes, dear. 
mean, this one is already making me feel better, though, because they have new orientation. Well, this is the one that has had extremely minimal population at oh, the, at the mm -hmm. entrance. And so that... They have more bees going on in them than that one, though. Right. Which, I mean, it's not on every frame, but... All right. That's a pretty good orientation on. Concentrate, go slow. I would just say it's more when you're doing your tools, like making sure you kind of wiggle them in and then move it. So like, see how that makes no noise? Uh-huh. Those, when you're just, and it makes the loud crack, that is what jolts them a lot of the time. Um, Though, to be fair, I think I go probably too slow, so that's why I'm kind of like, take mine with a grain of salt. My dad goes in and he, he's deaf, and so he's literally like, <laughs> in like all kinds of uh, nonsense, and um, it's, uh, they seem to be okay. He does get up the so there you go. <laughs> you want me to grab it? Oh boy, this is stuck. There we go. Nectar, both sides. Yeah. A little bit of cap. Cap honey again. Yep, pollen. Cap pollen. Looking good. Cap honey on that side. Same thing. Yep. Okay. Like that. Kathunk. No, I mean that's okay. It's like this bee. See how its wings are all splayed out? Uh huh. That's one thing. Is like. See, there's like that second wing splayed out that way. That's oh, okay. Like a K. The other bees look okay though, just noticing the one. You haven't done any mic checks, right? Not yet, no. Okay. Poor guy up here is caught in the propolis. <laughs> This one looks like some activity. God, this propolis is so thick. This is all honey. And then this side's got food, it's got one clean cup. Okay. Middle of the frame, super seeder if it was going to be something. Yeah. But I wouldn't we were too worried about it. I'd no. leave it. And all the rest is pollen honey. You do got one a couple cups down here, but these oops, I squished it. Oh okay, I see what you're talking but about. But it, it's probably not I wouldn't worry about it either. You could remove it, probably fine if you didn't. This looks like they're back filling the honey into the yep. So they might be running out of room. Um, okay. It's interesting because they have the super, but they didn't build it out. This one might be not as dramatically as that other part, though. Okay. 
minuscule brood uh, larva. They're also putting nectar in there. From this angle, I could be wrong. Okay. Go ahead and Let me look at the other the, side. Your side. Yep. Oh, so I do see these. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, that one does have uh, something going on in it. Okay, I see a lot of larvae at different stages. I don't see eggs. Okay, what's your advice uh, for those eggs that are cups down at the bottom? Nice. Yeah, I got eggs all down the side here, eggs all up through here. Yeah, this is all eggs all the way around here. I'm going to put this one back if okay. that's all right. And same thing, eggs and larvae of all stages all over the place on this. I mean, that's much better. Yeah, this is so much better than I saw last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. This looks great. This is exactly what you want to see. Nice exactly, yeah. Around it. Every eight oh, yeah. Yeah. This, last week, this hive was just looking horrible. I mean, there's a whole lot of brood and nothing, almost nothing but brood. Put and now, I see baby bees in there. Looks good. These look like bees of all different ages too, which is great. Show me a baby bee. Um, they're usually really like that. See how small it is? Oh, okay. And then the the older ones have really long. Like they just look aged. Um, let's see if I can find one. Like that. These that one right there. See how it's like a little bit discolored. Uh huh. It's just. I don't know if I can actually articulate them this way. <laughs> They're just like a little bit smaller. Okay. They look like... And like, see how long that one is? Yeah. That's an older bee. It's more okay. mature. It's more smaller. Like that one. Yeah, I see. Only thing is, is there's not a lot of coverage on the brood, which is weird. This side has more, but... Like, it's just like they don't have a lot of nurse bees or something okay like this is the amount of coverage i would expect but um, it just looks like the population is kind of small yeah uh like i say on the outside of the hive this population has looked there's minuscule. another k-wing a what so right, see how its wings are splayed out right there uh-huh so you have a few of them that are like that oh okay i so, see like i see a couple that are like that now again is it an indication of an overall problem not necessarily but with the, with the fact that it has some population issues, it could be mites. Okay. It could be um, mites. Mites. Today is what the seventeenth. Yeah, next week I'll I'll do a mite wash. Are you gonna do all your hives or just one of your hives? Well, I'm not gonna touch this one now. Yeah, that would be. Better. Okay, here, let me get this other one out of your way. I was looking hard for whatever that's worth. Oh yeah, so see that bee right there? That's an old bee. Uh-huh. Can you tell by the color? It's like a little bit gray almost. It's yeah. It's got less hair. That's a newer bee. Okay. Here. That's like middle-aged, <laughs> I guess. Right, I'm going to set that down. Okay, I got swarm cells over here. 
That one's capped. And that one's capped. All right, so we haven't found the queen. We have seen eggs though. Got a few options. I was just doing a, a queen check for whatever that's worth. Can I take a look at this one? Yep. Okay, this is heavy as this can be. Yeah, this is all honey. This was a brood frame that they backfilled, but it's down on the edge, so you would expect it to be. This one this is. Okay, leave it out for what reason? I mean, do you want to do anything with them? Like, are you well, squish that's kind of why you're here. Why I would, because yes, I would like to requeen this. So if you're already gonna requeen, you could just knock them off. They'd do a split. You won't really too late to be doing the split, but you could just let them do it. Um, but also, I don't really. See like, I see all the brood, but I haven't seen the queen. We have seen eggs, which means I'm right. at least three days, but it's possible she's not in here. Usually, I go through the whole thing before I make a decision on okay. whether or not them. Well, we've got another frame down there. So I'll just remember it's that third one. This bottom box. I would just move them with the tool okay. and like do it really slowly. This one. That's a 
lot of honey right there. Yeah, the back side is looking the same way. All right. Zoom down over. Oh boy, a lot more honey. Mm. I wonder if they're out of room last night. <laughs> well, I do have some more. I wouldn't, I would freeze these and keep, give them back to them in the winter. Or if, like late fall, I wouldn't harvest these. Right. Okay. Just them around. Yeah. yeah, this side not so much. This one. You want me to pull this and put a blank frame in? I would just take that one over like you were doing. If we're going to pull one, maybe we pull one of these. Okay. We'll have to look at how the other frames are. It, it might be fine if there's only these three, and, or maybe this last one here. But when you're looking at how the, high, the frames are laid out, you've got your 10 at the bottom and your 10 at the top. The ones at the edges had honey on them, and the middle was pretty open. Here, if the middle has honey, she's not going to climb over those. She might go up and then down, but that that would cause a space issue. Um, so they just really don't like falling over. Yeah, this is heavy. This is all capped oh, yeah, over here. So this is going to cause some space issues then, because she's not going to... Okay, the next frame looks like, yeah... Pollen. Yeah. Right a lot there. Of pollen. I don't know what if there's anything here. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little couple of empty frames here, but I don't see anything in them. But this is this is all gonna turn into pollen then. So this again Space issue. Spa space issue. It depending on how these three here look, or these three middle ones, four uh -huh. middle ones, but that's what makes me think. Well yeah, of course they're gonna they were like, We have plenty of honey, plenty of resources for this hive, let's get the heck out of here. Um, now look already capped. I think that you have to just make a judgment on that, but let's take a look and see how much space there is anyway. Yeah, this one looks... I drilled out that hole there and I took part of the support. I did that on the <laughs> Okay, mistake. Okay. Okay. So there's all the space. See pollen? I can't really see into that, that section, but go ahead and take a look at yourself. Here, let me take a look at Oh, this is all pollen. Capped? You just capped? Uh, maybe. Oh, uncapped. Nope. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at this. Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of room, but there's nothing going on. Right. But how would she get to it if it's surrounded by honey? And other things? Okay. Come on, I'll go to this one. So this one, I would face this way with the blank side. Alright, here we got We got queen cell two on the bottom. Yep, I would just knock those all off. Oh, found her. Where's she at? Um, I can't move my hands right now. Okay, there she is right there down in that hole. Oh, yeah, there she is. Yeah. I know, I'm so proud of myself. I want to just 
spraying my arm, patting myself on the back right now. Oh, and I. So, yeah, she has. So she's uh, right there still. Okay. So I'm she not has. Gonna... She has a lot of room. No. I would knock these cells off. So since she's in here, I think she just needs more room. And I would knock everything off. Okay. Or you could split, squish her. You could squish her if you really wanted to, since we have her here. Since you're going to replace her anyway, and they already have the queen cell, so then the queen cell would just hatch, and then. I don't want the queen cells to hatch. I want to put a different breed in there. When would you get the new? Uh, um, I would make a phone call tonight and see if I could go down tomorrow. I don't know if the guy does biz business on Sunday. Um, what's your point? I guess what you could, if you squish her, like, they'll be like, okay, we have queen cells, it's fine. And then if you stick a queen in there, she'll, even if those cells hatch, she'll kill whatever right. is in there. Like, she'll be like, no, the new queen would. Because... Oh, the new queen will kill this queen? Well, I would just squish this queen, and then if any queens return from that other queen cell, she would kill them, most likely. They okay. Would it out. So your option is to squish her, um, and then get rid of all the queen cells, and then replace. You would have to get her. I would rip at least 24 hours between. So if you waited all the way until tomorrow, that'd be fine. To reintroduce a new one. You know what? I think I'm going to go into these uh, next Friday and see if I can't locate her again. Okay. Right yep, there. Yep, right there. Man, I don't know. Because there's no get. I got to work tomorrow is a thing. Mm -hmm. And driving up to Stanwood and back and then getting to work. So again, you could just give her space since she's in there. I would probably knock off this this worm cells then if that's the, the other two queen cells if that's the case. Okay. And then just, or you could just leave them. That's the other thing. It's like they're unlikely to swarm, but she probably doesn't have a lot of space. So that's that's part of why they're like, let's get out of here. We don't have enough. They, we have too many resources. Okay, so I can't remember. Did I see a queen cell on this one? It was on the second. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Mmm, royal jelly. Oh. Okay, yeah, because, I mean, all right, so that one was the third one from the end. Yep. So oh. I would just, again, move, shift some of the, well, I wouldn't either, I would take out one of these ones and then just freeze it and keep it firm for the winter. Okay. And then put in a blank one for them to fill out. Okay. Because that's the only issue. Do you want me to put this one back in? Yeah, yeah. And this one's got the queen on it, so we'll give her a lot of space putting it in. Ooh, little stick it right there. Yep. Okay, now this frame also looks to have a bunch of room. I mean, a lot of nothing. On this side? This one has well, some pollen also. Okay. Not a lot of frame built out, so it's hard to hard to gauge. Okay. Ah, damn it, I did not mean to do that. I think that's the first time you did it the whole time we've been looking. That looks good. Uh huh. Yeah, there it is. In the middle, I mean, they're not backfilling anything.
Another thing you could do, this is a, I'm just gonna throw this out there. You could take those queen cells or even the on there and uh, make a small nuke. Cause that let somebody might want it. This late in the season? Possible. I mean, you can always put an offer out. Hey, yeah, this is just all pollen. A lot of empty pollen. So this one, let's turn this side, facing this other way. Okay. So that way, um, that way it gives a little bit more. And then what do we got right here? Is this completely a uh, honey or? It appears to be. So I would leave that one and then yeah. move everything back. Um, and then just stick the honey back onto the side. It seems like we moved one of the honeys, we flipped it around. That yeah. Possibly yeah. could have been causing some issues with honey being honey bound, but she might just suck. Okay. Uh, that one you were talking about freezing. Yeah, you can pull it based on how all these other ones are spaced. I think you could probably leave it in there. Um, it's kind of like if everything else was honey after that, you might want to pull it. Um, you could pull one and then put an empty frame in too. That's an option. But because they have all these, like there's this one's almost one of these was almost empty. Uh huh. It basically making a decision. Do you want to have pull a resource, a full frame out, and having it for them later, and then putting a new one in and see if they build it out? Um, I mean, I've got one frame in there right now that they haven't even built out. Yeah, so based on that information, I'd say let's just stick these both back. Okay. Um, that's why I like to make a decision until after I've seen the whole entire box, because otherwise you don't, you might make a decision and then get more information. <coughs> Actually, I feel like these are pretty calm. I'm like mildly jealous. Um, My Italians are like, well, one of them's queenless and was queenless for a while and really quiet. Okay. So this one it was the third frame. Right. Excuse me. I found the queen. <laughs> I just said found the queen. I no, gave no, you a no, pronoun. No. I, I want no credit. Okay. Chris found the queen. Ready? Ta da! <laughs> That's like the first queen I've ever randomly found. That's awesome. See, it's just experience. You knew what to look for. Chris found the queen. We have proof. We 
have all larva stages. Switched a few times around to make sure that there was good space. Um, which it seems like there's good space. My verdict is uh, probably should also requeen this one. <laughs> okay. Just if she doesn't, Cover. if she doesn't do anything with the space that she has in the next few weeks, that you can do But because she's been lagging basically the entire time, I would say off with her head. She's been lagging ever since I, one, I, I right? took her out of a nuke. Yeah. So. Um, Two queen cells squished. Three queen cells squished. Yeah. Two in this one, one in this one. I think we left one capped, uncapped one in there. Um, be okay. So. okay. Um, this one, I just want a quick glance. All right. I don't, we don't have to be as thorough, but. It... Yeah, so probably just do the top two boxes. Yeah. Oh no, I'm okay. I'm still young. I'm not even. I'm not even thirty yet. I will be in like two weeks though. So oh, three weeks oh three happy weeks. birthday! And the end of August, August twenty fifth. So. Oh really? It's kind of a pop summer. You know, summer's a popular time to be born. I think August is maybe okay. after Christmas. <laughs> or. or July 20th. Oh, Tuesday. You're like right up, right up here. Right around the well, happy birthday to you as well. You know what I got her for her birthday? Is She's it? wearing it. Oh, the new suit. Oh, the is it a breeze one? Yeah. Oh, is it embroidered? Oh no, it's just a suit. I was like, wow, that's like so extra. <laughs> I'm just gonna quick glance this because I don't expect to see much of anything. Since the um, the nectar flow is done, I would take off the the uh, super. The, not the super, just the queen oh, excluder. The excluder, okay. I don't think it. Like if she starts laying in there, like okay, fine. Like it's not gonna. Okay, now down here. Probably won't though. Like. Okay, now this. Yeah, okay, that's got a little something going on. That appears to be like the only frame that's got something going on. Can I put it back? Yeah. Okay, so we'll just take the excluder off of here and... And the reason I'm saying that is like, at this point, are you probably going to harvest any honey from there? No. If you do, and there's a few little things of brood in there, like, one, they're unlikely to go up in there. But two, it's... It's okay. I got this. This is, We're late in the season. Especially first year bees, usually it's like, do they need an excluder? Not usually. So. Oh. That's some nice bird comb. Do you keep this? Uh, bucket right there. Do you guys have any plans on what you're going to do with it? Uh, waxy stuff. <laughs> well, Sherlock, thank you for that deduction. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to maybe make a candle for my mother-in-law and sister-in-law. Oh, that'd be they so They would nice. be big on that. I just made candles last night. Oh, you did? They turned out terrible. Oh. Because I added in a... Uh, coconut oil like I read this thing was like add coconut oil in and uh yeah that was not that smart it didn't like get in mixed in so only one solidified and then the other ones had like wax and then coconut oil and I was like well I guess I just I'm gonna dump these and then I reused there's like some yogurt that uh has a glass jar it's called wheat by Yoplait anyway I just reused those like glass jars from the, from the yogurt uh okay. so I just keep them all for myself but I have some more uh, wax I'm going to try again, but just using wax this time. Now this one had a lot of honey up on top. Oh good. I would leave it in there then for them. Yeah. Especially since this one's killing it. 
opposite of killing it. two for two on queens man would that be amazing or what i'd be pretty happy you would see me snap my arm trying to pat myself on the back <laughs> very I, nice brood pattern oh i love it oh uh hunt that rack down there behind you please can i take a look at it while you're yeah, absolutely holding it thank you, you go i got it oh yeah and this has got eggs in it all over it Nice. Yeah, last week this, this hive looked about as normal as it could look. And so I don't really see shit dropped. That's okay. because I've seen it here and there, it's like... Now, for context, I saw it on my bees. I did two alcohol washes on both of my hives, and I had zero mites in them. You got clean bees again. Yep. Wow. I don't, know, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do another check probably mid-August. So, I just want to give them a month to recover. For bees. So, yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah, I don't... You know... Super nice. I mean, like I said last week, you know, this this hive looked fantastic. Yeah, and I mean, I keep going deeper in it just keeps looking better and better. This is why it's so important to have multiple hives in your first year. Yeah. Usually just two, but I mean, three is fine too. Um, all right, I'm gonna put this one back in. Okay. Just because like, this is a, a really nice hive. It's got a lot of good things going on on it. Um, Like it looks very healthy. You see a lot of different bees across. This is this is the kind of coverage. That's why I was so surprised on those other ones. You did not see very many bees on the frames. It was that's that's alarming to me on those ones. That's why I'm like, yeah, that queen. I'll take that one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, there's eggs in here, larva, cap brood, just this one. A nice type of guy here. And this is uh, born and bred in my backyard mm -hmm. queen. Oh, yeah. So it's so funny because people really are dogging the queen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, I mean, she came back and I mean, she went right Ooh, to work. So that's a whole frame of honey on that side and Ooh. on that side. So we might want to that's swap not those good. around. Okay, here is eggs, 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 and more eggs, and every stage of larva. So at this point, if your goal is just to look and you see signs of the queen, uh -huh. it might be just be like, all right, it's time to close it up. Okay, time to close it up, um, uh, she if says. If you wanted to. But. If you wanted to, but because I see this honey here, depending on how far it goes down, and then this honey here is going all right. the way, I'd move that one across over here. And then I wanna actually look at this one too. Okay, yeah, that this side is, so we'll keep this side facing Absolutely this gorgeous. way. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to see a queen. She might be in the bottom box though. She may. But yeah, based on what I'm seeing so far, I might do what I would do if I were just here by myself. I would do a, a tilt 
just to check on the bottom and see if there are any swarm mm -hmm. cells. So I'm gonna put that one there. Right. And then it, this, this one, these ones will be interesting to see. thing it just keeps going. I got even more on the next frame you no know, about the same on the next frame so we'll take a look and see where those okay. ones are um, and then here I'll it's probably heavy huh uh yeah a little bit I just I wanted to make room to put yeah. this one in down here oh wow but it looks so nice okay oh hold on hold on just a minute here We only have a couple more anyway. So this one looks like it might have brood in the middle, but there is a lot of honey on the outer side, which right. again, fine, as long as there's a space for the brood. Oh, that's too heavy. Oh yeah, they're probably back filling this one. Yeah, it is. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. It looks really nice though. And it's more all the way in as it appears. Oh yeah, that's nothing but honey on. Okay, so let's just um, keep this one out for a second, off to the side maybe. Um, just because we might need to do some swap around, or even put some empty ones, because I haven't seen any empty ones in here. Right. Um, and they might not, because there's not really any nectar flows going on, they might not build them out, but at least that'll give them some. some okay, space. I'm not even pulling out at this point. I can see what's going on. So let's leave that other one in there then. Yeah, um, these are all solid honeys. So let's leave those two in. And was this one honey? Yeah. So let's pull this one and that one out, and then we'll put two empty frames in, um, if you have them. Yeah. We'll put an empty frame here, and an empty, and then we'll put these two back in, and we'll put an empty frame here. Okay, let me, uh... And then I put the, um, oh sorry, I thought this bee was inside of my suit for a second. I was freaked out. Um, yeah, anyway, I got these damn yellow frames. So I would just mix them in, so then I put one of these two back in, okay. and then put another frame here. So like, two honey frames, empty frame, these frames in. These are all brewed, so right. maybe just shove those over. I don't remember what one these two that are right here, but um, I think they, they were, were brood. They were pretty heavy honey with a little bit of brood. And then, yep, I would just leave it empty. And then, actually, this one has one in This one over. Yep. these frames I had one following me all the way over there and back. Yeah they're gonna be a little cute.
And then I would just save those two frames. Mm -hmm. If you have space in like a freezer or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then in late September, when you're about to prep everything, you can check, make sure they have enough honey. If they end up having enough, you can just spin it and keep it. If they don't have enough, you just take out the empty frames or even the half empty frames and stick the full frames in. Do I want brood like that on the end? Uh, I would shift it. So, yeah. where should it Uh, it's on the table, I thought. 